I have completed the Study September Challenge. It is October 1st. It's officially spooky season. You know what that means. And I'm going to be showing some of my favorite pieces from the second part of the Study September Art Challenge. I'm also going to be explaining six things that I've learned while doing the Study September Challenge because this challenge was very interesting. I'm not even gonna lie. In, in the second half. Okay, first thing I'm gonna say is the overall opinion of the whole art study art challenge. Um, it was really cool. I really liked it. It really is like a, it's like one of those assignments in school where like you like it, but it also challenges you, you know? And it's like one of those things like it gets you thinking, you feel me? So the first thing I learned with this art challenge is that it improves your art skill. Not like drastically, I'm talking about, I'm not like Leonardo da Vinci level now. <sighs> How do I say this? It improves your art skills because you're drawing every day, really. You're just, you're drawing every day, you're drawing different things, so you're getting used to different things. Your hand is getting used to being in different positions. Um, I don't know where I'm leading with this, but besides that, um, yeah, my art skills have improved in, um, especially in maybe um, in different mediums as well as they have different improved as well as I've done different mediums and stuff like that. It's just kind of cool just trying different things. I can see the progress that I've done since like day one versus like till day 30, even though day 30 might not be the best painting. Um, but um, yeah, we're gonna skip over that. But I can definitely see the biggest progress. This is the most progress in art that I've ever done in my whole life. This is the most progress I've ever done in 30 days. This kind of shows you how like you what how much you can do in 30 days and what 30 days can a lot can change. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna be showing up two art pieces right now that show the biggest progress for me. Um, the rest of my art pieces are gonna be down in like a Google Drive link down below if you want to see any of them. But um, again, also shout out to Kesu Rodriguez for this art study art challenge. I'm gonna link her video below and her channel as well. And if you wanted to just do it, even though it's not September anymore, you can still do it, you know? Okay, so the second thing I learned with this art challenge is that your art level really depends, your art evolution really depends on you, on like how much you're doing. Because don't get me wrong, yes, 30 days is a long time, but if you go, if you just do like a light sketch after 30 days, you yeah, you're gonna get some progress, but it's not really gonna evolve if you don't put some effort into it, if you don't try to go 100% hard work into it, you know? Like, during, yes, don't, don't get me wrong, there's some days where I just didn't feel like, not like I didn't feel like drawing, where like the subject was like way too complex. There's some like that where I did it, but there was ones where like I was interested in them, so I wanted to keep going, you know? And that's, in, and this also all depends on like what you like to draw on your art style as well. But for me, your art evolution does depend on you like it depends on your pace how much you're putting into it is what you're gonna get out you know I put a good like maybe 80 or 70 percent in this challenge and I got a good 70 80 percent improvement you know I feel more confident drawing in my in my art skills and stuff like that and I feel like I've evolved so quickly as an artist within 30 days so yeah yes but like like many other things it depends on you to evolve yourself you know it's not like animals or like us humans as well or like the environment involves us, we can also involve ourselves by learning things and going through time and stuff like that. So the, definitely this challenge has definitely evolved my art skills and my art evolution, you know, just evolving. And if I keep doing this, I can definitely make, if I can evolve like things, like I could look back and be like, I can't believe I used to draw like that, you know? The third thing that I learned doing the art study September challenge is that it's really cool drawing different subjects. Like in some of the in some of the um, assignments, not assignments, but the um, activities to draw for that day, it was really cool drawing different things. Like one of them was movie scene, which was my favorite one that I drew. Um, my favorite one that I drew out all of the pieces. It was like movie scene. I had to draw a glass. Um, some of them were really hard. I'm not gonna even gonna lie. Like I didn't even think I could draw that. I was like, oh wow, how can I draw that? One was like foliage. That was one in the first one. I never thought I was, I was like, I didn't even know what foliage is, but it was really cool drawing foliage. Uh, one of them is like dampled light, which is just like um, shadows with lights passing through it a little bit. That one was hard. I'm definitely going to be tackling those harder subjects, but it's definitely cool drawing different subjects every day. Okay, number four, probably one of the most important ones that I've learned is that consistency is key. Consistency is key. 
I'm not gonna lie to you, there's days where I think there's been like the most of, I haven't drawn was three or four days and I like I did like catch up, you know, and stuff like that. But um, I would, I, I've would i always played catch up, like I've drawn, like if I missed a day, I would draw both of them, do both of them in a day. Now, the more I'm talking about this, it really is school. This is how I was in school. I would miss and then I would just do it all in a day. But I didn't do it all in one day, I promise. But consistency is key. If you're drawing every day or you're trying to draw at least three or four times a week, you gotta stick to it because if you're just drawing once a week and you're not even putting much effort into that once a week, you're not putting 100%, you're not gonna see big progress as fast. You're still gonna be making progress, but you're not going to be, you're not, it's like you're taking half a step where if you do it every day, you jump it, my boy. You jump, you feel me? But consistency is key with any art skill or drawing anything like you have to be consistent raw every day or a couple times a week you know like go at like 190 percent things that you want to do either go 101 percent go 200 percent go a thousand one million percent whatever percentage you want to go to just make sure you try to be consistent as possible like i mean if you draw once a week if you draw every day for a week and then you drop it for like two months yeah you're not going to be consistent your art skills are going to maybe diminish or that you're just you're not going to see improvement but if you're drawing a couple times a week and you're keeping that up for a couple months, you're gonna see your progress improve. Consistency is key. Ha might have to switch mediums. Like if you're doing, there's nothing wrong with staying on a medium. If that's your medium, that's your medium. And by medium, I mean like drawing, painting, digital art, sculpting, um, just so many different art mediums, oil, watercolor, you know? But for me, I feel like switching mediums also helps you keep up the other art skills, you know? Cause you could be a fantastic drawer, but you can also be a terrible painter, you know? And by this, I mean, I'm not saying that like, if you're only interested in drawing and not painting, go 100% in drawing. But if you're trying to be like a multifaceted artist where like, oh, I can draw the same character in different mediums and make it still look the same, then you have to keep up with different mediums because I was doing a lot in digital art. There's a lot of my things that I did on my iPad and there is some a lot in my also my sketchbook, but I didn't do a lot with my um, gouache. So I feel like I should have did some more in my gouache painting and my watercolor a little bit just because I want to keep those skills up as I'm getting my digital art and my sketching skills up, you know? I don't want my sketching skills to be all the way up here and my painting skills are still here, like taking one step at a time where my art and digital art skills are taking leaps, <laughs> you know? So I definitely say switch mediums so just you can try do try new things and just again keep up with other skills you know the last thing that i've learned is that make sure you have rest days and also have fun with it so rest days i mean like you can still draw on rest days but i mean i would say just go off the dome if you're drawing on a rest day but by all means on a rest day you don't have to draw on a rest day just go about your normal life you know you don't have to draw you can put down art, art supplies you know you're not glued to it, you're not chained to it, you know, it's something that you put your energy into and it's something that you can also stop putting your en energy into for a short being time. But, and then also have fun with it, you know. Don't try to be too structured of like following other people. Don't be too structured with like, oh, art. Not, I mean, unless you're in art school and they're telling you to draw that, by all means try to incorporate some fun into it. But don't feel like that you have to draw like um you you have to go basics by basics you have to learn all the boring stuff before you get to the good stuff by all means you can take your art path whatever way you want you know i definitely feel like that i was having fun with this challenge i was drawing with my friends and stuff like that and i was just having fun it's like hey is this good is this good or not and they were just like joking around you know so the key is to have fun that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content in this video and then the six things I've learned in doing the Study Our September Challenge. I also do know it is Inktober. I am going to be trying to go back into doing some ink work and might try to do some ink stuff every day. I'm going to be trying, you know? So basically I might be doing another art study challenge, which is like Inktober technically. But this one's probably not gonna be as like um, sophisticated as this one, um, the one in September. But it's Inktober and it's my first Inktober and I'm going to be doing ink stuff, you know? You feel me? I miss Inktober for the last 20 years. I'm not gonna miss it now. Yeah, again, this Today Arts Challenge is really fun. Thank you, Kelsey Rodriguez. If you ever see this video, like it up. Like this video and let's become art friends, you feel me? But yeah, that's gonna be in this video. Um, do some art. Um, I'm gonna give an art subject for this video. Draw something with rays of sunlight. If you wanna do that challenge and you wanna send it to me on my socials, um, all my socials are linked down below. 
But that's all I got off the dome and I will see you guys next time. Peace.